Welcome. Did you ever feel like you could not disagree with someone because you would sound very rude if you did? And you felt bad about yourself because you couldn't stand up for yourself? Well, we are here to help you. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to say no or disagree with someone politely. So you win and they win too because they don't get offended. Hi, I'm Ajit from CapShine. CapShine is a revolutionary learn it together English fluency program. With CapShine, learning English is easy, quick, fun, affordable, and effective. We promise a whole new you in six months or less. So when should you say no? Or when will you have to say no? Well, if someone tells you that tells you something that seems obviously wrong or something doesn't agree with you and you don't want to go along with it, you want to say no or you want to disagree with them, but you want to do that politely, especially if they're someone who is senior to you, who's your boss or your elder. And you don't want to break relationships or bruise egos by saying no outright. You don't want to be rude. We're going to look at some ways to say no or disagree politely so that you don't bruise the egos or don't come off as being rude. Let's look at some examples. I'm not sure about that. This is a great way to disagree with someone and this can help the other person think about what they're saying and probably also understand that you may not be on the same boat. Let's look at an example. But before that, a quick word about CapShine. With CapShine, you get access to live classes, speaking opportunities, learning and practice opportunities as a group. You also get a personal coach who gives you monthly fluency report and customized feedback. And you also get access to daily micro lessons through which you can learn and build your foundations. I'll talk more about this at the end of the video. Stay tuned. So here are some examples of how you can disagree without being disagreeable. Here's a conversation between two people. The first says, it looks like it is going to rain. And let's assume you, you feel that it's definitely not going to rain. So instead of saying, no, you're wrong, you could say, I'm not sure about that. This shows that you, one, disagree with their opinion, and two, it's also respectful of their own opinion. It's a great way to disagree. Another way of disagreeing is by saying, I'm, I'm afraid I don't agree. Notice the language here. I'm afraid I don't agree. I'm afraid is usually used when you want to be polite, especially when you're talking to someone superior or someone you do not want to offend, but you still want to put forward your opinion, which is opposite to their own. I'm afraid. Or you want to share a news that is not the best. Here's an example. Winter is a lovely time to be on holiday. Maybe your boss tells this to you and you respond by saying, I'm afraid I don't agree. I find it too cold. I'm afraid I don't agree with you. I find it too cold. Again, notice how you're being very respectful and not at all rude, but you still disagree with their opinion without being disagreeable. The next phrase you could use is I agree to a point, but or I agree up to a point, but. This shows that you do agree with some of what they say, but not entirely so. For example, I feel people should be given free education. Perhaps your elder or your relative tells this to you. And your response could be, I agree up to a point, but funding the schools might be an issue. So while you agree in principle, you do not agree about how feasible or practical it is. I agree up to a point. A great way to disagree, especially when you agree to a point. That's an interesting point, but. So here you're not outright disagreeing, you're giving them that um, say, saying that I hear your opinion, I do appreciate it, but here's another point of view. For example, the Kings lost the match due to poor planning. Maybe your friend says this to you and he's very passionate about his team. You disagree and say, that's an interesting point, but I'd say they didn't practice enough. So you are agreeing that they lost, but you disagree on why they lost. I, it, that's an interesting point, but, and you give your explanation for it. And of course, that's not how I see it. Suggesting that it's views that are being discussed, nothing is a fact. Right? So again, you're disagreeing, but in a very agreeable way. For instance, one day robots will overtake humans. Let's say your boss says this to you. 
and you say that's not the way I see it and then you can go ahead and explain right you could say robots will be made by humans they can never go against humans or whatever it is that's not the way I see it to show that you disagree in the way they look at the issue a great way to disagree with someone without being rude and that's it for today I hope you found the video useful make sure you use these strategies when you want to disagree with someone but don't want to come off rude if you like the video make sure you like hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be up to date with the videos we create and of course do not forget to check out your 30-day free trial by going to capshine.com or downloading the app from the play store thanks for watching